Thank you, thank you. All right, yeah. if we're throwing out thank yous, I might as well, right? I mean, Tide Hunter, you will never be able to bully Tide Hunter with this lane, of course. Like, you're just picking it to farm up an Arc Warden, which can be a little difficult against the hero like Tide Hunter, because your right clicks don't really do a lot of damage. Your Euros with the level 2 Edict. In that first spot? Disable them, or your level 2 Edict to deal a ton of damage. And if you are alone in the jungle, you're just dead. Mid lane. <laughs> Signal will go over mid. Torrent lands. Arrow comes out. That's going to land as well. But the Earth Spike lands on two. Might give an opportunity here for Somnus to survive. But right in front of him, he's going to need some good body blocks. And there's the Tidebringer kill. Bushwhack under the tower. Ghost ship coming in. Red Panda is low and will finally fall. And now they land the Torrent out on the super as well as the arrow. One more right click coming in from Felix as he takes out this lion. Yep, I'd agree. It's always a little bit difficult. Also, the matchup maybe he's not really accustomed to because Kanka isn't picked a whole lot. Well, that could be a problem. Going under for God King. Ravage committed on this. Yours has also made the rotation and they've got the stun. They'll get a kill. They'll take out God King. This uh, potentially turning into a tier one tower as well. They've got the siege creep still alive. Yeah, very good rotation from Euros. Unexpected too. And as you Ooh, said, moving this. Mind Right over me. Because they're gonna go for D stones who's out well too far. Four heroes Ooh, middle age. It's a massive rotation though. A little bit early. They do have Blink Ravage though. Potentially catch two. Right. right on him, Blink Ravage coming out on the two. Can they get the kill with the bushwhack? They've got the stun from Uris. Oh, four staff back. Four now staff. in the dome, they've got the primal split. D Stones is going to survive. They get the kill on the fly by those Somnus grabbing that one. They'll look over at this Lashrak. They'll slam him down to the ground. He's stunned, but not dead. Hex through on the Arc Warden's Tempest double. Red Panda trying to keep up with these heroes and help them try to get the kill on the Lashrak, but they can't get just that. And now. That he's back to form and under the tier one tower. He is in a lot of trouble. Blink forward from Somnus, and that's going to be yet another kill here for Elephant. It's not the cleanest of fights, but it is clean enough where they don't lose anybody. This is by the tier one. This is by Roche. Maybe looking for one or the other or both. It looked pretty rough initially when it didn't get the kill with the Ravage, but Somnus managed to solo kill the Mars somehow in the mid lane. So... Maybe getting some PI8, PI7, some of those flashbacks. Oh. Now forced to split. He gets the split off. He's taking a lot of damage on these pandas. Does he really just want to stand his ground? God King coming over. One right click in. A couple more. BK be gets popped in the middle strike. Oh. Son is taking out Red Panda. And while that's going on, Yang, he'll get a kill here on a Felix. That's two around the map again for the side of Elephant that will cost them FY as Flyby uses that arena. Yeah. As we said, the gold lead is growing, but very, very slowly. Like maybe 400 gold per minute or so, which is not a whole lot. Ooh, they Arc find Red Panda, but now the arena comes down. They've got the air spike. They'll get the kill onto the brew. Why? They're TPing in a couple as FY ends up dead, but they get the hex onto D stones. BKB gets popped with the damage coming in. Is it going to be too much for him? It will. Somnus getting the kill there onto the Kunkka. Doesn't have buyback, and now that is troublesome for the side of RNG. And Eternal Shroud. This has a shard, which probably goes to the left. ATM is rolling. And now they're going to look over for this little track. They've got the arena down as well as the ghost ship coming in. He's so tanky. Even so take damage. scratching the surface of this little track. They use this primal split. They'll try to run Red Panda back. They'll get the TP out. But not for Took zero damage. this brew. And he's healing up more than they can damage him with the pulse nova. Ooh, going in, trying to make yeah, something dog. happen. God's rebuke, TA in a little bit of trouble, and that's going to be a dead Somnus. So maybe the high ground defense is there. Spike lands. The Ravage comes out, and they will get the kill on a red panda. Take out Flyby. Look over the Tempest double. The silence on Tiuris for a moment as they buy back on this Mars. Tiuris trying to survive, and he's pushed back with that spear, but they get the hex. There's the gun. 
Is it going to be enough here to lock him down and get the kill? Yes, it will be. He's dead for 104 without buyback. And the torrent comes out again. It's just not doing the damage that they need. They'll throw the acorn shot. They've got themselves the hex. The ghost ship comes through out onto Uris. But still, they cannot kill this Lashrac. And they'll try to throw these right clicks out from this Tempest double. But it still doesn't feel like enough. Trying to drain the mana, trying to keep Eurus alive. Eurus Spike lands onto the Tempest Double. Super is probably sacrificing himself for the greater good. If you are an Elephant fan, and that's exactly what he does. Yeah, a lot of Ibex forced out, so it's a very big win. Wing forward, landing the spear. This comes in onto this Lashrak. They're trying to keep him alive, but they've got the Ravage as well as the Arena coming down, and he'll end up surviving Pop of the Bloodstone. They get the kill on the red panda. They're going to jump this Lashrak up into the air, but it's still not looking like the damage that they need. Yang pops BKB, and he'll run out. As they get the tower, finally, the ghost ship comes in. Yur is still sitting at about half health. They'll go in with the Ravage once again and throw forward everything that they have. They've got the kill onto Yang finally, but he got both Ravages out. Well, the damage, damage. onto Somnus, and they've got the TA. They don't have the frontliner of this Tidehunter at the moment. Now they're going to push him up into the air with the Torrent, and I believe the Tidal Wave. The X, Eurus in some trouble. They get the Hex on the Arc Warden. They bring in this Mars for the moment. The Stun starting to zone them out without these BKBs, and all they get is the Tier 3 over mid, while Elephant can't really seal the deal just yet, even with that Aegis. Orb of Corrosion, or Destruction, rather. He's done. Oh, he Ravage? Uh-oh, he's in trouble. They've got the Hex. Dome is out. And now another Ravage coming through, but the BKB from Keystones. And now the Torrent Storm lifting him up into the air. Both Ravages used to look over for at least the kill onto the Marana. And they'll get that, but it does not get their initial target. I kind of just tip each other every time something just happens. <laughs> TA now actually picked up her axe to be able to help by that split push a little bit. Level 30 Lash yeah. right now finally as well. The Edict Talent is online, so buildings will fall a lot faster. Mm, level 30 be enough. Top lane, Mars caught. And they'll get the kill with the sharpshooter. FY has been playing a very good hoodwink. 6, 3, and 10. Land doing a very good job to help get these pickoffs. Closing into this 25, which will Ooh, make it more damage. And the tidal wave. Interesting move there as Yuris gets pulled back via the X. Let's see if he has the rest of the team to really help bail him out. He'll go into the Bloodstone, they'll pump the end. Just now they're going to go and try and get this kill. They'll look over a Red Panda, though. His Earth Panda getting low, and the rest of the Pandas are in trouble. And right up with him is this Lashrak. They'll get the kill to the Tempest Double. Fills up into the air. They've got the distancing with this Sun right on the rack, so they should be able to at least take these buildings. Nobody's split pushing for the moment, and they've got themselves the Glyph. Sun comes out once again. He's got that Ag, so he has the second Primal split with the BKB being popped by Yuris. Now they're going to go after this another time with another stun. Again, fighting into this small area without BKBs is a little bit dangerous. They're now looking for Yuris. They land the bushwick. They got the Ravage coming through. Gush out, Red Panda. Now, he's got just one Panda left. The Arena comes down. The Spear's going to win. Spear. It's Kebab Dome. It's the double Spear. A little shish kebab there for Flyby. And now... Can they follow it all up? Oh, they cannot. It looked close. It looked potentially dangerous there for Elephant, but they do spring away. Buyback from the line. I don't think they want to give this up. They're starting to come over, but is it going to be in time? They'll use that Shiva. Don't get the oh. ravage in. It's going to be in time. Nobody got the BKB off the push left. Oh my God. It was on to four. They get the kill on a red panda. They'll take out Fio Chauba. And now D-Stones, he snatches the Aegis. And the Torrent Storm and the Crazy Storm that is this fight. He gets himself the Aegis and he's going to be back up once again. But it's not looking like he's going to be able to survive. The sun is right there with him. They've got the bushwhack to follow it up. They'll get the kill on the D-Stones. And FY making his presence felt with this hoodwink and that was absolutely astounding what he was able to do hunters boomerang the damage out onto the tempest double and they'll get themselves 300 gold once again mm -hmm. massive ravage all the bkbs were on cooldown from the previous fight so they had nothing setting up towards bottom 
They're going to overwhelming blink. They've got the Ravage. They have the Nullifier. They get the kill on Red Panda. He's going to have that buyback and he's going to be forced to use it immediately. They'll look for the Tidal Wave to push them back and it actually lands onto the Tide Hunter who pops the Refresher. And now he's got himself another Ravage, but he's taking a lot of damage. They've got the Mana Drain coming up from Super, who is Magic Immune. Thanks for that charge. Focused. But they've got Yuris staying way too deep. The Ravage comes through. He's going to be up and he's on everybody. They get the kill on Yuris still. Dude's trying to run. He'll leap away to get the kill on Yango. They got two. They both have buyback and now the Cogs are coming in from Flyby. They're trying to catch these heroes on the run, but they get the two that they wanted that were in the deepest and rng with a semi hold yeah they only have two racks left and once that's the case defending them is very easy because you don't have to worry about any sort of split push be careful they might want to force a mid rex here blink arena spear fy he's got the a on this now the hex comes through they're gonna have the arrow to follow that up the damage coming in on fy is gonna be too much for him to handle they do have the buyback available on this hood wing and they're gonna use it immediately but they disarm this ta ta for staff back you're down thirty-eight thousand. you're invading their base the arena super uh-oh tidal wave comes in who land the earth spike but it's only out of the tempest of the hunters boomerang comes in and puts the target onto a lot of these heroes on the side of the radiant but you're without super for two minutes they've got the right clicks coming through meltrick from somnus the tempest double finally falls but Stones needs to run and run can he i'm not sure he can bushwhack is there from fy and yuris will get the kill on a d-stone he's now dead for two minutes and they also red catch panda themselves also. red panda yeah and both of them we just said it have no buybacks they're gone for two minutes eggs is time for tide hunter yeah oh. why not why not lion? Ah. We'll see. Ravage immediately coming into the Kunk is just dead. Keystone's gone. He's got buyback, but I don't know if that's even going to matter. They use that primal split. They've got the shark shooter coming into the Tempest Double. They're going to refresh right away. But Yang taking a lot of damage, and he's so low, but he just gets away thanks to the Drinkster Glow. Wind Waker into the air, and there's the overwhelming blink. They're gonna go after the RNG side, deep inside their base. They've got the arena down, thanks to Flyby, but is it gonna be enough with the BKB, the Wind Waker, outside the arena, they get the kill here on the super, the big of the lion, they'll also take up Somnus, Ravage coming in, and they've got the Gush coming across them once again, and there's another Ravage hitting out of the side of RNG, and another Gush followed up. They've got the acorn shot, as well as this Bushwhack, locking them down, but it's still not enough. Elephant, instead of going for the buildings, they went for the heroes, and they lose these heroes that have given them this advantage. Going through bottom, smoked up. We're gonna make the move. Look at these necro creeps. They're the ones that are gonna get it done. They look over the Kunkka. They're gonna get the kill immediately. He's gonna be there for two minutes. Fly by with the BKB in the arena place down. They look over at yours. They're trying to focus their attention onto the Lashrak. They've got themselves the primal split. That's gonna stun off this lion. They've got the fallen sky right on top of him. They get the kill on the super. He's dead for two minutes. Yuris throws down a stun. There's another stun that hits onto the Arc Warden. Is that the real Arc Warden? Yes, it is. Ravage comes in with the four staff back with BKB being popped by Yuris. And now he's hit off. He's hexed. He's in trouble. The spear lands. The spear lands from Flyby. They're going to get the kill out of the Lashrak, and they still haven't taken any of these tier fours just yet. They look over his Yang now on the run, but the move work as well as the Bushwhack coming out from FY. They've got the Hunter's Boomerang. That comes all the way back, and that's going to hit on the fly by Red Panda as well as God King's Tempest Double. They look over at Yang. Gush once again on the run. Yang, you need to be careful. Bulwark once more. Oh, man. This is just not the way Elephant want to close this out. Roshan is dead. All right. What a... Seventh time, I feel like. Or is it six? Hags. Put him down. He's trying to kill my FPS. <laughs> they're gonna move in with the smoke, the blink, as well as the ravage coming out immediately. They're gonna look over a field. Chow, they're getting the kill onto the Mirana immediately. And now they've got the buyback as well as the kill onto the Mars. Sharpshooter comes in, but that's gonna be a whiff. They got the kill onto two of these heroes with that ravage coming up from Elephant. So. Buybacks available, creeps pushing in, game getting difficult here for RNG, down 55,000, but they've got Yuris moving forward, he's gonna get hit up into the air by that torrent, the right click damage is gonna be enough, Earth Spike comes in, that's gonna land on the field, they've also got the Earth coming out from this little Shrek, making it difficult for RNG to maneuver, overwhelming Blink as well as the Fallen Sky back from Flyby, so he'll be safe. The sound of the spark rates is loud. 
And now a Ravage. Blink is here. The Ravage coming through onto the Kunkka. They've got the Gust, but the Arena comes down. They're going to themselves potentially a kill here on a Deez Nodes. They're going to go to the Kunkka. The end is going to be Brock on Red Banda. That means he's going to be able to get himself off the Primal Split with the BKB being popped by Super as well as the Slow Track. But Fallen Sky, that comes in. They've got the Torrent. The Gust comes through. Eurus, he's getting over the Earth Spike. Lands from Super on this Mars. Up in the air again. The Torrent Storm is going to be used here. They've got the damage to get the kill on the Eurus. He's going to be dead for 100 seconds. He buys back. Sonis, right now, he's trying to hide himself under the shroud of these trees. And yeah, he has no buyback. They throw in the finger, but it's not going to be enough damage to get the kill on a flyby. He's going to pop the beat. Maybe they'll go for Yang and they're going to take out this Aegis. Divine Rapier, God King, it's right there next to your Tempest Double. Somebody pick up the Divine Rapier. As low as your base, it's in some trouble to take out the tier four. At least one of them, Yang moving in. They've got the Nola Fire bouncing off in a low. So that goes back on a Yang with the Gush hitting on a Red Banner as well as this Tempest Double. They get the kill on the Tempest Double, but everybody's alive on the side of RNG as well as Elfin. Divine Rapier, whose hands is it in at the moment? It's into the hands of Punka. The other tier four is gone. These creeps are making it difficult for RNG to commit to a lot of these fights as well as they've done so far. It really is difficult because you're losing your base. And about eight seconds. I feel like growth should be way harder. 83, 84 minutes into the game. And maybe not, wait. Waiting. Ravage oh. coming in, that's gonna land it onto the Brewmaster. Now Brewmaster is gonna be able to get off his split. No, he's not. The finger actually gets reflected back on the super with the BKBs being popped. They've got the sun on his two of these heroes. Tidal Storm. But uh, yeah, it's just not gonna hit anything. They just leave. He was he was hitting the throw though, which took half HP damage, and then it got bubbled, and now it's reaching up to full. Time to refresh it back. They did get the buyback out of Red Panda though. Yeah, that's a good one. Right now. Stop. Don't. You're putting bad juju out there. Is it a remake or. <laughs> Hex coming through. Now they're going to boost with the finger coming out as well as the Ravage. They've got the Smarts down over half health. Can't get the arena down. It's the close. Ravage dying. once again. Oh man, Third he's still one. not dead yet. What do they get? They throw a flyby. He's going to buy back. They've got the glyph as they start to go in for the throw. They land the yeah. spear. Stop it. Another divine rave here on the deck. <gasps> He's dead for two minutes! Fallen Sky! It hits! They got Yang! They killed him! Oh my Necron, lord! Necron. Divine Rapier is down on the deck again! They have fought back on the Tide Hunter! It was Ravage, 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 Ravage! And they were still only enough to get Mars once! And all of a sudden, Samus, who's going for the throne, is now dead. The fight's raging out. They're going in for He pops the BKB. He's hit with an old fight. They've got the finger coming out. Like That's going to land. And the throne, it's getting low. Can they save it? They've got the dome. Oh my. Divine Rape, you're now going to be picked up by Felix, who just uses buyback. They can't take fights outside the base that are going to take you on with creeps coming in. Yuris, super, oh, all coming bro, in. Bro. They're not themselves. Done from the earth by coming up from the lion. Super trying to survive here with the hex out of the list track, but the throat is getting low. It's down to 1,300 health. Jordan Storm up into the air with the BKB being popped by Yang. Earth Spike lands on the Tempest Double. They found themselves the Fallen Sky that gets the kill on a super. They've got buyback as well on both the track as well as the lion, but the throne is now down low. It will start to regen, and Elephant can't put this game away. It's now only a 25,000 net worth lead when it was once a 60,000 net worth lead. Yeah, and the two of them choose to not buy back yet. I think they'll have to buy back eventually. Might as well just do it straight away to get back of cool and faster. But there's a tier trap in the jungle. Like, they need to de ward that ASAP because otherwise tier could just back out of thrones. There's a rape do you, here. And, do you see the, the, the tr trap in the trees over to the left? Yeah, that's what or I the mean. Base? Like, but they found it. They found oh, it. Okay. I don't know if they want to win this game at this point. They just want, don't want to lose. <laughs> Alright, TD. Uh, TA has a DD. But. Oh, X. Coming oh, through. There's going to be the arena. They're going to go after Lion. Super needs to with the BKB. The right click's coming in for the Tempest Devil of God King. But on the back of this all, they're trying to take the throw. And Yuris is going to be hexed up with the Torrent Storm. Bouncing up into the air. They've got themselves a stun out. Auto the track. Bushrock comes in with the Torrent lands. They get the kill on the Super as well as Yuris, who both have buyback. Yang on the run with the BKB being popped by Somnus. Somnus needs to get out of there. And he will use that psionic projection to get away. Yuris yeah, tells this... about. 200 damage to the throne before he died. Like, this actually looks like a RNG win at this point. To be yeah, honest. feels like it. Like, the last, I don't know, seven team fights have all gone their way. And. Uh, yeah. I. Hmm. 
Yes. I'm. I'm I, I had a question. I. I'm. I'm broken. Fly bye bye. His courier dies. That had his heart, and well, he's dead as well. Dead for two minutes. Gets an arena down, but he wasn't able to survive, and it'll keep them locked up in a box for a second. At least he can buy back and buy the hard recipe again. He has enough money to do so. But what is yeah. he gonna drop for it? Probably the Aeon Disc. Like, Aeon Disc at this point is so worthless. Let's see if he does that. Or if they just don't jump until he comes back alive without using buyback. They've got the Hex on a red panda. They're moving FY in with the finger. That'll put the Aeon Disc. Hunter's boomerang. And that's gonna be reflected all the way back onto FY. Red Panda goes in with the Primal Swoop, but they got the Ravage up into d -Subs with the Andus, as well as the BKB to be top. Yuri's just trying to get in there, but, ooh, Wind Waker up to the air, throws the stun down. Can they get the kill here? Ravage comes out from the Tidehunter. They've got themselves the Ghost Ship Fleet coming through, and now the right clicks on a Yuri's, but get the kill! No, they won't! Wind Waker, Ravage, once again with the BKBs being popped around the point from the side of Elephant, but it's not going to do them any good. They still have all five heroes here on the side of RNG. They've got the pushback coming out of three of these heroes, as well as the finger. They get the kill on the d -Subs. Sharpshooter, that flies in. They take out Yuris. He's gone, 98 seconds with buyback. But Elephant thinking about turning this one around, looking over at Felix. He's got himself a Divine Rapier, maybe no more, and yes, no more. He's dead for two minutes. They're gonna overwhelming Blink and look for the Spear, but that's not gonna land with the BKB by Yang, and now we're running out of that arena. The Hex is out of the Tempest double, as well as the Bushwhack out of the Tempest double. And they won't go to kill it, and the Divine Rapier picked up by Felix once again. They did not get the throne. They did force the buyback from D-Stones. I think the biggest thing they got this time around was the glyph so that's gonna be on cooldown for a good five minutes at least there's a window to win like if it's past two minutes then they can go to Roche again they're smoking up they know there's no glyph They'll go in and now they've got the fingers close the no fire the ravage comes out and red panda's not gonna be able to get the primal split off he's gonna be dead for two minutes I he does so. have buyback Ooh, I think they're planning for that play. The that Earth Ravage Spike Ravage. range, the plus 800 Earth Spike range. Yep. The Gosh, two screens at this point. Hunter's Boomerang. Well, is that Earth Spike? Taking care of the Tempest double, but it's going to be resummoned immediately. Yang thinking about going in with that Ravage. He's trying to find an opening, trying to find a moment to go in there. But kind of like a play, shock, no cleaning. 45 seconds Quarter. left on the cliff. Yuris, blinking in forward with the BKB. They're going to go after this throne, try and get it down with the BKB. Be popped by Yuris. He's going to pop the refresher and still trying to stay in here. Ghost Ship coming through. Now the Wind Waker. It's a Ghost Ship fleet. Wind Waker all the way back with the BKB still on Yuris. He's trying to run away from this one now. Sonic with the right clicks over onto the pandas. They've got the Ravage coming in on the multiple heroes. They will go over. That's going to be a second Ravage. Can they get a third Ravage? Yes, off? Yeah. He's going to be hit by the Torin. And now they've got the Arena down. They land the Spear on the Yang. And now it's going to be in dead he's got the ages but can he do anything they only got the throne down at about half health they've got yang up once again super air spike comes in but it's not gonna be enough they will go over at Uris with another bkb ravage comes out once again they will go for the tempest double they've got themselves the right click damage coming in from Sonic's finger out d stone's gone he's gonna be dead for two minutes can they finally finish this game off with the bkb being caught by fly by shark shooter comes in on the tempest double the throne it's getting low 1600 1400 but they're losing heroes on the side of elephant they just can't do it Sonic's trying to get in Throw the right clip! Oh! The right clip! There's a clip! The clip! I can't believe it! The clip! The Earth Spike comes in on the Mars. They've got the damage coming into the Tempest. Oh! The Earth Spike! The Earth Spike! The Earth Spike! The will do it! The will do it! Finally, 107 minutes in, they have the damage! They finally did it!